What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Vinland Saga. I'm trying to truck out a whole bunch of reactions today to catch up, okay? So, um, yeah, so in the last episode we got to see some great stuff, some awesome stuff from Thor Thorfinn and Askeladd himself. Um, some great feats there. They're promising to help the Franks and then robbing them blind, basically pimping. You know what I'm saying? So, pretty cool stuff, man. That jump reminds me so much of Thor's himself that Thorfinn did from the, from, like, bruh, he just, he just leaped <laughs> crazy stuff. So, that was, that was crazy. Reminds me of what his dad was doing in the earlier episodes so much. And I'm looking forward for more from Thorfinn. Is he going to get his match now? Who knows? Um, hopefully he does get his matchup with Askeladd. Um, he'll probably lose, but at least, you know what I'm saying? I don't think at this point, I don't think the crew really cares about him. I think maybe he's growing on them. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they, they care about him that much. I think he's just an extra that they use. I don't think Askeladd really cares about him, but at the same time he does so <laughs> you know what i'm saying it is it's confusing how they feel about thorfinn at this point but we all know what thorfinn wants to do he wants to kill askeladd because askeladd basically ambushed them killed his dad that's how he's seen it he wants revenge so um story is developing them you, you know what i'm saying so they're taking a break because um it's the what is it the summertime or is it the winter? I think it's winter. So they're taking a break so they can go back and attack in the summer. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it what it was, why the King of Denmark decided to halt on all this stuff. So Askeladd them is basically out of work because so they decided to go and help somebody else, which is the Franks. So let's jump into this episode, see what is this happening. This is Finland episode eight. Let's go. Remember to leave a like. Okay, leave a like. We're heading for 50 likes on this one. 50 likes. 50 likes. Don't forget to like this video, guys. Um, so let's go watch watch the episode and we'll come back for the review. Alright, so for this episode, not much to say about it really. More story development, more moving forward, a little bit of time skip there, it seems, at the end. Um, but the first part of the episode was really entertaining. Um, got to see um, Thorfinn go up against Askeladd in, in a straight-up duel. And he's got to learn to control his emotions, else Askeladd is going to beat his ass every single time. And it's so obvious that he was trying to get him riled up, get him angry on focus off his game so that because he was holding his own against Askeladd he was focused looking out for turns and things that Askeladd would do he almost got him you know but it's obvious that Askeladd has a lot more experience than him and he's showing that you know what I'm saying you gotta learn to rein in your emotions when you're fighting you can't fight with so much you know rage and paying attention to what the opponent is saying because i mean come on dude you've been there for a year you're a reminder that he killed your dad there's no way Askeladd forgot thor's come on man this is probably the hardest fight he ever fought in his life so you know what i'm saying so and, and he knows thor's beat him hands down there's no way Askeladd forgot about thor's and thorfinn should have known that he should have picked up on that but he didn't and got his ass whooped. Okay, so there was some, some cool stuff that happened in the episode that I agree with. Um, you know what I'm saying? Something that Askeladd said about his uncle when he said, look at that. He's a slave to money and he's beating the slave that he used the money to buy. You know what I'm saying? So that was, that was a pretty profound statement. Everybody's a slave to something, which is very true. Everybody is a slave to something. It doesn't have to necessarily mean that you're, you know, you're physically inferior in in your circumstances to um 
to another person as in slavery as in the wa the wider broader understanding of what slavery is but just on a, a on a smaller scale we are all slaves to something just like you know what i'm saying like some people you know addiction and stuff like that so you get what i'm saying anyways man this was a very good episode i, I want to know who the hell is that is 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 was that thorfinn because the person had blonde hair so was that thorfinn the person that they were trying to hide that had a helmet on at the end um that's with the um the the yums the yums i don't remember I don't remember what they call them, dude. The Yum Vikings or whatever. I don't remember what they call them, but pretty pretty cool. The army. Um, now we got introduced to a character named Ragnar, and you know we got Bjorn. These are all characters from the actual the TV show that I'm watching, so the names are very familiar. So I mean, this is a anime about Vikings. Um, so you know, I guess these characters are lore characters, like how in Greek mythology you got. You know, you got the Zeus's, the Hercules, the the Hermes, the the. You get what I'm saying? Like those characters just know from Norse mythology. You know, you got the Odins. I guess in that Ragnar, Bjorn, and these are very like specific people throughout the 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 lore of Norse mythology that, you know, what I'm saying, that really sticks out or they have really great stories to them so they're always going to pop up anytime you hear anything about vikings so oh my god great episode man great episode well shot um the, the visit to thorfinn from his father was pretty cool um just to you know i understand what thorfinn is going through but i think at some point he needs to kind of probably like forget about the revenge thing for a bit and just understand that you know what i'm saying like i think one of these days Askeladd is gonna have a conversation with him and he's gonna really understand stood what happened you know on a mature level right now he's still a kid so i understand he's still angry as his father said to him you have no enemies nobody has enemies People basically create enemies, to be honest. Like, even when people are against you, you really and truly, in all essence of it, that's a very deep thing when you actually think about it. We really do not have enemies. We create them because we want to feel something in in some way, in, in, in a certain way. People are going to be against you. That's stuff you can't, you can't avoid that stuff in life. It's going to happen not everybody is going to like you but in turn you don't have to treat that person as an enemy right so it's a very deep thought deep thought it's not just a surface thing that he said so gotta really think about it to really understood what what he was trying to say to his son there so thank you guys for tuning in as always man hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me man um it, it was a a good episode um thank you guys for tuning in as always just remember don't to leave a like and also leave a comment in the comment section subscribe if you're new and as always man your terror squad i am mr terror by reacts and i will see you guys next time for some more vinland saga peace